They'll be calling you a radical. This is a major, major story that Governor Andrews, ex-Governor Andrews has filed suit. And I'm going to talk about the corruption of the linchpin in the win, win, Western Initiative for Nuclear, which is lose, 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 lose. It's a shakedown. It's a scam. He knows. He's a great old elder. He's an all time, you know, I mean, this guy, look, in the spirit of the great Governor Scott Madison, who died of leukemia that I died of, you know, I'm going to talk a lot about how alternative media has ruined your life. I'm going to talk about the fear porn scammers and how really what they've done to you is they push the alternative because that's what they want. The alternative, the alternative is worse than what you have. This is reality. This is logical media. I'm reality. I am literally living, walking, breathing, talking logical reality. You know, I'm an AML leukemia survivor, you know, fighting for my life, an activist in the street. That I do the dirty work, down and dirty, the grassrooters. We have to be the grassrooters. You know, Mimi was up there at Hanford. I'm on the phone. She's a grassrooter. We have a few. But, you know, they, they just spin us. Well, they won't even spin me. They won't touch me with a 10-foot pole because they know. They know that I am the logical reality voice that will ruin their agenda. And I'm going to ruin their agenda. I'm headed to Idaho this morning. I live right here on the Idaho border. My mom's an Idaho girl. My grandparents are Idahoans. You know, that beautiful place, the way America used to be. That was Governor Andrews' old model. He, he's the one that came up with that. You know, all over Idaho. That, uh, Idaho, the way America used to be. Well, it's not anymore. I mean, it's, hee-haw, Johnny, got your gun. But, you know, let's go kill a giraffe. I mean. They've lost their mind because who's the linchpin? The Mormon Church, the Mormon Church, you know, Governor Herbert. So I've been dealing with the Attorney General's office in Idaho, as you know. There's a lot of people who follow this vlog know I've been dealing with the Attorney General's office up there and, of course, here. I had a lot, long conversation with the Attorney General's office here two days ago. I, but look, let's remember. You know, I know Shirtliff. I mean, me and him went at it for years when he was allowed to exploit freaking labor and they were taking apart my stucco business by allowing people to pay people labor, you know. He was so corrupt. Yeah, he's, yeah, the guy that the FBI went in his house, Pert walked is under 13 felony count. Swallow, who had for sale on his door. They're for sale. All these politicians. And I want to talk to you people in Idaho and understand. And if you don't think there's people in Idaho that get it, I want you to understand it. Of course, Atomic City, boom, they had to peel him off the ceiling in 59. You know, C. Slanders knows. He, he, you know, he knows. He knows what happened to the open air tests in Idaho. Our hospital, which is the number one leukemia in the world, takes in people from Idaho. A lot of people are from Idaho in there. This, you cannot make this up. One of the lead state senators, while I'm dying in there, shriveled up, going at, his wife's in there. He and I would talk all the time. Well, it's going to break nice. He says, no, they're not. That's the scam. They're going to tell you they're going to bring all these jobs to you, and then they're just going to exploit illegal labor. That's what they do. You know, and I says, they're not bringing it. They're going to kill you. Why his wife's dying? Then I go to my uncle who just passed away. This is on my beach on D-Day. There's another friend of his. I'm talking. He's like, Kevin. You know, and, you know, we start talking about my anti-nuclearism. He says, well, you know, they're going to bring... He's one of the lead senators up there. His wife died. I'm like, come on. What does it matter with you people? Hello, Paul. My very loving, close, blessed friend. You know that he got cancer the same time as I did. For he got born right up there. You know, I used to work right up at Atomic City, right by there in Chalice. You know, when I was a young kid, my grandparents' ranch is still there. You know, it's it's heartbreaking. Look, they're trying to bring in these little teeny nuclear reactors. They're trying to set up. And you read what Andrew said. I mean, thank God we have an elder. We have an elder. He reminds me of Freedom Eyes of Blauer in Austria. I mean, this guy is awesome. Look, this is illegal. Look, I'm telling this to Idahoans and Utahns and Oregonians. Fold it up and pretend. No, 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 no. Come on. Mimi's been in the free thingy. Look, this is a little nuke scale. They're crooks. They're crooks. You want this through. He says that they're sneaking. That's how the Department of Energy plays. They're corrupt. Fukushima, they're nuclear island. You said it, Susanna. I won't stop there 350. They killed my dad. You know? They murdered him. They tried to murder me. Don't you people see? Money means shit when it comes to your life. When I was in that bone marrow transplant, I wasn't dreaming about money or girls. I was dreaming about water and food. Look at this beautiful place we live in. You know what the word Idaho means? You know what that word means? My grandmother, oh, she'd say, oh, yeah, there's you, Tom Or, You know, she's the last living grandchild of Ike Potter. You know, so want to talk about how about that rebel radical? 
Yeah, they freaking had told him. Wow! As the sunlight runs down the mountains. You know, the whooping cranes migrate there. Right there. Right there where they, I mean. You want to chew this? Change the law. So I'm lobbying. I'm, I'll be up there lobbying today. I'm lobbying in the Utah State Legislature. You know, I'm the only one there. Only one there lobbying about Western wind. Don't you love they call it wind? As you know, I caught video. They're hiding behind the stairs. I catch you. Video. I like it. She called the cops on me at my own university. Cops coming. I says, well, if one of us go, you or me, I, this is a public space. I think you're going. She went. They know she's a... You know what she told me right to my face? Well, you've seen Pandora's... Pro There's the propaganda bullshit. It's propaganda. It's a shakedown. You want this shit and change the law. We have a legislator. You're not king, governor up there. You're not king, dirty Herbie. And I want you... I'll be out at the Nevada test site in the zone protesting tomorrow. This decision's coming now. I went all the way to Vienna. I protested... You know, to try to save us in the Rocky Mountain region in the Western United States from Western. That they made decisions. All roads lead to Vienna. Be made in Vienna. I got detained inside the in Vienna, inside before I went. That I mean, they biometric before I even went. Come on, come here. They already knew who I was. They were waiting. You know, thank God, one person, a white shirt, stepped down and protected me. You know, I protest. I'm in their face. I talked to the state senators, all of them. I'm like, hello. And they're like, what? I says, that's what this bill is. Look, they scammed you through what they call amps. They scammed you through your utility bill saying, oh, it's going to be cleaner energy because of the inversion. How do you think we got natural gas here? You know, look, this place is filthy. So instead of solar, which it all should be solar, look, understand this. We would all be solar. The sun shines all day, every day here. You know, northern Utah, Idaho. I mean, it's nothing to shine. We live in the desert. We have enough freaking. We could put on solar panels to heat this whole freaking United States like that, like they did in Los Angeles, like they did go. What do you think? San Onofre shut down didn't mean shit to their grid in the hottest summer in history. They've all solar. There's no mining of uranium. There's no storing waste. Oh, they yeah, got. Yeah. But they, Utah, got it through the legislature. These corrupt bastards that you couldn't go off the grid. And if you go solar, cost you. You know, it cost you twelve grand. Twelve grand if you go solar. Just to hook to the grid. This is the shakedown of these scam artists. So they got your utility bill money. It's supposed to be going for wind and solar. They're taking it to, oh, nuka, the alternative. They are, just like alternative made it. Told you to get a gun, buy some gold, buy some silver, and then you die. They fucked you. Hello? You know, I'm down there fighting the San Lopper. I'm one of the leads that got San Lopper shut down. You know, I'm the guy out there in critical condition when they bought the San Lopper generator right here. They brought it right here on a special made truck. No protesters, no nothing. Stand down. When I'm in Europe, they love me. People came from all over, standing ovations for me. Give me gift boxes, whatever. You know, here, they spit on me. They laugh at me. You know, I do protests. I'm alone, all by myself, which is very dangerous shit. Look, you want this, as Cecil Andrews says, you want this? Change the law. We have a legislative process. You're not king up there, Governor. Herbert, you're not king. So I've been dealing with the Attorney General's office. I says, look. You need to file suit if Herbert does this because this is against the law. State law prohibits this in Utah and Idaho and Oregon. State law prohibits it. Federal law prohibits it. But we have this freaking elitist system that we've somehow Bush started this shit. Well, Clinton started this shit. And now you got Barry Antoinette. I mean, he's all nuclear. You know Obama's all nuclear. Hillary Westinghouse Clinton. They're all nuclear. I mean, hello. Toshiba Ball Westinghouse. Toshiba is Fukushima, Japan. The Pacific Ocean is being killed by the, the Western drought. And if you don't think people in Idaho know, there's only one place where Fukushima happened that they issued alert. Boise, Idaho. I talked to his son. He issued an alert to the water. He don't look at the water. The only place on earth that did it. I mean, wow. There's conscious people. Idaho's not going to go for this. The people of Idaho will not allow. But you're trying to say, and here's how they're doing. The DOE's spreading money all through. Kaysville, Brigham City, Morgan. It was reported by the Standard Exaggerator, which is a rag. Used to be good work. They're throwing money at these people and say, hey, you start a consult. They're never, it's a shakedown. They're going to center the Atomic City. All this is where the, during, hey, here it goes, all clear back into Bill Clinton. When you see the Washington Post and the New York Times working together simultaneously on a piece about the Clintons, the Clinton Foundation, that's why I was in Vienna, win. It's not win. Don't you love how they name it? It's 
lose, lose. So they want to set up an exchange. You know how much one ounce of plutonium goes for on the free market? You know, these are plutonium wars. These are oligarchs getting billions of dollars through Price Anderson. Remember Senator Gardner? Remember Senator Frank Church, Idaho? I knew Frank Church personally. How about Alan Simpson? I know him personally. You know, it's amazing. These old elders, you know, they got, they would freaking fall over in their graves. They are. Well, Alan's still alive. Frank Church is rolling over in his grave. My grandparents are rolling up their grave in Lava, Idaho. Wow. It's, it's sad. Change the law. It's a shakedown. Price Anderson's the congressional act, so they get free money, taxpayer money that just flows to them, unlimited. They know this. They got their finger to this, so they want to set up a worldwide exchange, you know, to buy and sell this stuff. They want to base it at the Energy Solutions dump site, who has been delisted from $35 a share to $350 a share. I'm the guy that freaking busted that all up. I'm the guy that busted that up in the 90s. Me and Dr. Cooley, who died a mad cow. We're buzzed the ones that busted that up. They're corruption. It's the most corrupt thing in the world. So they want to build an exchange. He took $40 million, Bill Clinton did, from the president in Kazakhstan where they build the antelope used to play. Remember they dropped dead? That was a nuclear accident. What's going on in Chernobyl? I was, I mean, I just left Eastern Europe. Wow. I mean, you ought to see it. You ought to hear people talk about it. The mass murder of Chernobyl. The IAA is corrupt inside the UN. The International Atomic Energy are making these choices. Dory Herbie's on the take. He's not king. I'll tell you how corrupt it is. One guy, his name's Rusty Ludberg. He's the guy that radiation through the state of Utah. I call, he won't even talk to me. He got caught in collusion this year, and I can prove it. I've been talking to KUTV, KSL. They won't even give me a, that much. I mean, they're the evil. That media, which is mainstream, KUTV, KSL, they're, they're evil. They're sick. But look at alternative. They're just as sick. Oh, God, I mean, I'm reality and logical. He's been caught in collusion with Energy Solutions. We were supposed to have public hearings this fall. In Wendover. I was headed out there, whatever. Oh, no, back up. Uh, no, Kevin and his army showing up. They know that. They won't even speak to me. You know, it's outrageous. Well, I mean, come on, these old Idahoans wouldn't know that. I mean, I don't know if any of you spend any time in Idaho. I mean, you want to take your breath away? I mean, the landscape is so spectacular, so beautiful, it's incredible. You know, I shot those videos out of City of Rocks. I don't live very far. I mean, I live right on the Idaho border. I was the jetty, the jetty's right on the Idaho border. I mean, really? You're going to trade it all in. You're going to trade it all in for a few rats to make a bunch of fucking money. It's against the law. You want it? You have the people of Idaho vote on it. You have the state legislature. Same in Utah. So I talked to all the state. They're like, oh, no, Kevin. I said, that's what this is. Don't you know that? They don't know. I'm educating them. And I have no money. I'm fighting for my life. I'm an AML leukemia survivor. In the bone marrow transplant at LDS for freaking 1,240 days fighting for my life. Freaking giving no chance. Why well, I'm sick of fighting. I got no money. And all these people got all these money, these lobbies. Everyone won't do shit. These state senators. They're like, oh no, that's, they're not bringing no more waste in here. That's against law. Yes, they are. They're using the Patriot Act as the umbrella, the military umbrella, like they do everything. It's a shakedown. I mean, come on, stand up in Idaho. Stand up in Oregon. This Western issue for nuclear, it's the dirt. Look, nuclear is dirty as filthy. It, it, it's dirtier than coal ever dreamed to be. You have to mine uranium. You boil in the earth's water over and over. You have no answer for the waste that's stored in every nook and cranny. They make nuclear bombs. They have to mark the fuel right here, little mound. I mean, it's filthy, and it causes leukemia. It kills you. Come on, it's unarguable. Wow. You know, we got the mega drought. What about Fukushima? What about Chernobyl? Hello. You want that up there? You already had one in Atomic City. It blew up. They had to peel the guy off the roof. You know, they had it the first major leak. You know, and then the next one happens just a few days later, Santa Susana. You know, Santa Susana, the third worst nuclear accident that ever happened in California. Well, in the United States. The first is the 350 open air test killed my dad in Nevada. There was no, I mean, I guess that's not an accident. Neither was that one. You know, what about Atomic City when they pull him off the roof? You know, that leaked nuclear fog all over, and there was a huge incident of cancer right there. Huge. Giant. Me and Paul used to talk about it all the time. He died of leukemia. He got sick at the same time. Beautiful person, amazing person. Born and raised up there. You know, you know, his mom and dad, just like my mom that was, came here, we grew up together in our place. He died February 25th last year. I mean, so many people in there from Idaho died, and yet, you know what, you're gonna trade 
a few rats to make some money? For your life? For your children's life? For the animals' lives? For the trees' lives? Why? You know, thank you, Governor Andrews. Thank you, the old elder. Thank you, Cecil Andrews. This is a major deal. Somebody finally stood up. Wow, somebody finally stood up. And the Attorney General's office in Utah, they're like, well, okay. I said, you got to file suit. Come on. But remember, the Attorney General's office in Utah is the most corrupt in the history of the United States. If you don't believe me, look it up. Shirtliff charged with 13. Arrested at his house. Swallow charged with 11 felony counts. They're on trial right now. Buy here, pay here. Usury complex. Perp walked out in handcuffs. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Shirtliff, a $100,000 hooker party in freaking New York City, which... He's a Mormon bishop. The Mormon church is the linchpin, and they've taken the Kool-Aid. What do you think Obama? Well, I approach this. When Obama came here, had nothing to do with what they told you had to do with. When Obama came here, it was just this. It was this. It was the nuclear deal. And I told everybody that. I'm inside the legislature, you know, and they say, what? They're trying to build a pipeline from Lake Powell to Kine County. I said, why don't you debate Santa Claus? He said, but there is no water, because what that is, it's shrouded. It's political cover. It's just like alternative many. Like RT interviews me all the time in D.C. when I led the Million Mass March. They've interviewed me. They've interviewed me when I'm in New York. As long, but as soon as I start talking, they go, whoop, because they're in on the gig, too. You know, everybody's got the fingers in it. These oligarchs, it's this. We're going to drain this. I'll be in New York on Halloween doing my gig at the, you know, Unnatural History Museum. You know, give me a call. Anybody wants to meet up, be a piece of my work, and then, you know, off to lead the third annual. I mean, witches caught fire all over the... Look, you don't see it here in the United States because you're all caught up in your false equity in your house, and you think that's your wealth because you're dying. There's a poison in the environment killing you. you can, I mean... How many of you Idahoans, how many of you Oregonians, how many of you Utahns, you know? Brittany was in my sight. She was in my sight as she was dying. Her and I talked. She was dying. You know, that wasn't freaking suicide. That was euthanasia. We talked a lot, her and I. Well, so was I. But I lived. She had no chance. Well, you know, how many of your loved ones are going to die? How many of your children are you going to kill? How many are you going to look back? What's the matter with you people? You know, what's a uranium mine? Where, there's no answer for the waste. What's a nuclear bomb? I mean, this is just a cash cow shakedown fucking ripoff, and these guys all have their hands in it. These mayors, got they throw money at them, say they shroud it under consulting contracts, one another looks at it. It's just a cash cow. They're buying them. They're slowly buying them. Department of Energy, that's how they work, these corrupt fuckers. You know, this is a big deal. This is a very fucking big deal. So I'm headed to Idaho right now. So i supposedly got some media that's going to go with me, I'll believe it when I see it. Stand tuned and that V is not for peace.